what is observable and what is the use of it in angular we will discuss but after the intro Hi everyone, this is Subhrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, we will discuss about all the frameworks, all the languages, all the concepts. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So on the today's video, we'll discuss about the observable. So what is the observable? Observable is a thing which will, by the help of an observer, it observe your scenario. Like yeah, uh, if you are uh, like suppose I am emitting an array of numbers. So here, uh, so by the huge use of the observer, I will emit the data. So suppose I am emitting a data like the zeroth index, then one, then two, then three, then four. So the observer it will do it emit the next value, the next value, the uh, zero is the next first next, then one is the second next, second is the third next. And fourth, third is the fourth next. So it will emit the next, next, next value. So observer has basically three states. So like its next is the when when it will emit some value, and there is a call error. Well, that is called when there is some error occurring. Like like one real example will be when you call HTTP call in Angular. It will it will make a call if that server is not present, or if you enable on URL or may anything any error may happen that error method get triggered so that you will get a error as a response and you will handle according to your requirement so that is another state in observable called complete that means when the observable get completed then the user will get notified that the uh, observable is complete so to use the observable we need to subscribe to the observable and the subscription will be stay active till the observable has been complete or we have been unsubscribed to the observable forcefully Right, like uh, if you are calling a HTTP call, uh, if that call got success, so it will get completed. So we will get a complete uh, message or you know, a complete uh, functionality got executed. And about a non non complete observable, it will be like if you are checking a, a click event of a button, like when you click, you know, want to say some message or you want to uh, check the uh, mouse uh, demo, uh, mouse position or on the page then that observable will be stay active throughout the session or throughout the browse tab is open or throughout the uh, your website is open so in that case we need to unsubscribe to that observable forcefully so that it will not stay in the memory now, so observable will work on a async data or a synchronized data so async is the asynchronous data and synchronized the synchronized data so async data is like if you get the data in a periodic manner like uh, HTTP call, like your form changes, like I explained in the router video, I will I, I will link that you can check it here. Um, in that case, it will check the browser, that parameter of a browser that is active route, and that will check the yeah that uh, if some parameter is changing or not. If that got changed, it will no notify the subscribers, and we are using that data and displaying the user ID in that video. You can go ahead and check that one. So I will explain how that async work and synchronization work. So here, if you check in the suppose this is an observable and we have a sync a data a sync a, a pipe a stream of data and which has an end. And as I explained, all the observable doesn't have an end. Suppose this has an end, and we are, we are emitting value on some certain certain point like zero one two. And three here in the first it will emit a next method so here how, how it will work is by the use of next it will emit the value that that's the suppose is emitting a zero value it's not like that I'm just explaining in a sketch manner and guys, as you can see my handwriting is very bad so please don't mind that one so uh, in the zeroth value which emitted zero and the one it emitted one and the two emitted two so whoever subscribe to this observable right whoever subscribe to the observable they will get notified when the um, when the this next get called like that video we subscribe to the uh, 
the parameter changes on the on the url and we, we are observing that yeah this got changed we have got some user id or some name or something from the parameter so whoever subscribe to this observable those will get notified through the next method okay and what happens is some error occur in between here okay so while emitting two to three in between here the some error occurs so then a error and that error also will get transmitted to the subscriber and that subscriber and and it will notify that the subscriber this error happens it will pass the error to the subscriber so the subscriber can use that error and act according to the error message so like in example i already explained that if some happened 404 or 500 error if i'm making a http call here the complete will get called like um, like all the things got happened and the complete will also notify the subscriber that yeah the the observable is now get completed and one more thing here if the some error happened if some error happened here okay then it will not proceed next so if some error happen this thing will not be proceeded next so uh, this will this thing will be break here so when error got occurred the observable will stop there the observable will get completed there so you you, you will not get some notification notified through the completed but and it will not emit the next like the three here it will not get emitted the three but uh, the with the error the observable will be stopped there so this is so th this is the basic of a observable how the observable work now we'll go ahead and see in the system how 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 in the code we can use that one in a pretty good way so here as you can see i just created an observable so as i already explained observer has a three method like m next error and complete so here you can see that the i it just added observer so this is a new observable and that is the observable is from rxjx from rxjx module so you can if you if you want to learn more about rxjx you can go ahead and uh, view that documentation they have a pretty good doc documentation guys so please visit that one as well so here what i'm doing i'm instantiating a new observable and it's in the profile component of ours and i'm instantiating it in the on init method so that on the initialize of the profile component it will get instantiated so here what i'm doing is i'm passing a observer here so the observer has a like here next error and complete method here okay so uh, you may guess this will not get called anytime on this scenario so because on before prior of that i'm calling the error method so like the explain the third the between two and three some error happened so that in that case they, this is the two and this so this is the two and this is the three and this is the error in between them so this complete will never get called so what i am doing is to make this example is asynchronous example i am emitting so i am calling the observer next value on the start of the page and i am waiting for three seconds then i am calling the next again then i am calling the error then i am calling the complete method okay so here we will go to the browser and we will check to in the profile component make a note in the console now we will i will go to the profile component so it think the the first emit then after three seconds it say that second emit then if something went wrong so this is the error occur you may wonder how this worked you, you are not calling anywhere you are not subscribing it anywhere so as you may also you guys may notice that i am subscribing to this observable so here so and the subscription method also get two type of parameter okay the first parameter is a callback method so th these are the ones so this is a callback method this is a callback method and this is the complete uh, callback method okay so here what i'm doing is i am subscribing to this observable i'm subscribing to this observable through a subscription like the subscription i'm passing the callback like first one the data that is the next the first one whatever you wrote in the callback method that will be the next method and second one with the error and third one with the complete i'm logging 
the value what is just emitted by this observable so for that reason it's getting printed here so suppose i am refreshing it again you will get to see that the first emit get called when i subscribe then the second and then oops something happened wrong so here on on the beginning uh, i am just instantiating the observable as i already explained so but here i am calling this observable and subscribe the calling means subscribing to that observable and printing the data on success or an error or on complete so i am not getting this value as the observable haven't been completed yet so what we will do here is we'll go here and check that we'll try to do this one so we'll first get call complete and then we'll call error we'll see what is going to happen so just pause the video and think what is going to happen is the error is going to come or not or what wherever in the console of what is going to be printed as i am subscribing here and i have to so when i will save the data the first got emitted then second got emit then the observable is completed we have a saw in error here so that's happened so so before the error the observable got completed so and so the subscriber is not active now so the observable is uh, now in inactive so so the error method hasn't been get called okay and for that reason we got the observable is completed as the uh, as the complete method get executed here so as i already told you that subscribe method will get through a callback or through a observer through a observer like here so this is an observer so which has a next and error method so that uh, the workflow will be same either you can give an observer or a callback to handle handle a subscription so here uh, what i will do is i will i will comment this one and we'll see that it's uh, that it, it 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 is it is able to uh, get the value from from the observer or not so when we will go to the browser so here you as you can see this is got emitted and the, well, the workflow will be same so uh, now we are going to discuss where angular uses the observable so you can make your own observable and use that but how default angular uses your observable is in the in the mainly in the HTTP call, it uses observable to get the data and fetch and fetch to the UI. And in the event emitter, we saw that in the input output video. I will link it here. In that event emitter, it will emit when you emit the value, it will call the next, and that next got emitted to the uh, parent, uh, which which is using the uh, which which is which is observing the event, and and in the router so in the router the active route as you saw in the router video the active route and the router dot event it will it will uh, get it, it will check the event and filter according to that or it will check the active route and filter and get the parameter according to that and in the async pipe so in the pipe video i'll link it here again um, that in there is told about async pipe that async pipe also uses observable and the, uh, take an input as an observable or a promise and the subscribe or reach up to the value and display the data in the html so we don't need to write all these things subscribe and all we just need a pipe give async that's it i will make that video i will make a proper video about async pipe uh, in later and reactive form so so when you get a reactive form you can detect the, all, all, all the changes from the you know, from the user like you have have a email field when the user typing you can check the e each and every a key key press and in each and every change and can and take the data and validate the e email a lot of things you can do with that so that's also you just say observable so that's it for today guys today we saw what is observable how we can make it for ourselves i'll so and this is the part on the part two is coming in the next video till that stay happy bye bye